Today I will show you how to make this crazy gothic tile card. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. All right guys, so here I have a clip of one and only from a Stardust music video. And what we can do here, you know, is just go to the button T and press on it. And here we can go to the font we're going to be using. Now there are a bunch of Gothic fonts, you know, and I actually found this out to be more of like a metal Gothic deadly font. I don't know why. I looked around a lot for these type of fonts and yeah, I finally found like a really cool one. So this one is deadly ground. So if you type like anything like you can type you know povicus or something and that will look crazy so yeah it's a free font i think i actually have a subscription for like a font service so i got it from there but yeah you can download as well i'll link it in the description but there are plenty of more of these fonts that are actually also free like for example mb forever raw this is completely free and here you could type like you know gothic with this as well and, and that would look really cool but i'm just going to use deadly ground for this tutorial and i will go to the span behind button and i will make it go to the middle right here all right and now let's go to align and press on here and press on here and what i like to do here is i actually like to press s and here we can go to scale and i like to make it to 100 33 although you could make it a bit higher and we'll make it probably a bit higher okay let's just actually make it a bit higher and i like to turn off this and i like to make this higher right here yeah maybe let's make it like this and let's turn it back on so we could scale freely like this so yeah that looks really really cool i'm going to type osama son because this is the person who kind of motivated me he was using like osama son i saw like an edit and he was like doing an osama son edit so yeah all right and now we can finally start making something i'm sorry that took a long time so here on the text we can actually add an effect called signal now this effect does require a plugin so i'm very sorry for that but we will make more effects later on here so you don't really have to worry about signal that much but it does look really good if you add it here so i like to make the signal strength here to 20 and i also like to make the signal amplification to 10 now you can start to see like these little colors that pop out i love these colors so much that's why i like to add this effect and i also like to go to luma modulation and turn off tape errors and also the turn on and off and it will start to look like this that looks crazy good but yeah let's just keep going another effect i like to add here it doesn't require a plugin so let's go it's called luma key so i like to add threshold to one and i like to make the edge fin to one and i like to make the edge feather to 4.4 now look how it looked before and after as you can see we kind of like deleted a couple of parts made them a bit more blurry some parts got a bit darker so yeah i think that looks really cool and another effect like that here also is drop shadow and for drop shadow you can do whatever you want you know put the shadow wherever you want but i like to make the opacity a bit higher and the distance distance 8 and i also like to make the softness to 15 and you will start to already have this cool text now it doesn't have like any cool effects here but it just looks like this that's pretty good for the start but we can add more so below everything we can press ctrl to y and here i like to make it darker like the background darker because this is a gothic style remember that so i like to add cc vignette so yeah no plugins required and you can make the amount extremely large like i like to make it like maybe like 450 or something that looks really cool as you can see like the text pops out way more of that yeah i'm gonna keep it to like 475 actually and i also like to add s hotspots here now s hotspots does require the sapphire plugin so you also need to have that but here what we can do is we can make the threshold to 0 0.1 so we can actually see more you know and we don't have to make it that high but look how it looked before and after like it makes it darker and like really cool and now i actually like to go on top of the text and here press ctrl to y again and here we can call this layer to glow actually and the below layer we can call it to dark so glow is going to as you might tell you know we're going to add glow here so first on top of here i like to add unsharp mask so we can like see it a bit clearer and i like to make the amount to 200 and the radius to 5 now that looks really like sharp uh, and also really cool but yeah i don't want it that sharp so i'm actually going to add blur which is called fast box blur and i like to make the blur radius here to 3 now it will look more damaged with the blur and just really cool you know like the gothic looks uh but i also like to add glow now for glow i like to make the first glow threshold to 100 so technically that could mean that you can't see anything but as you can see this clearly does add an effect and i like to make the glow radius to 38 and the glow intensity to 0.8 and now what we can do is go to glow and press ctrl d to duplicate it. and on this one i like to make the glow threshold to 51 and you see that looks really cool and you could keep it like that if you want by the way but let's just change it a bit here so i like to make the glow radius here to 79 and the glow intensity to 0.4 so yeah 
yeah, we kind of lowered here. And now let's press Control D again on the glow layer. And here we like I like to make the glow threshold to 32.2% and the glow radius to 158, but the glow intensity to 0.2. So yeah, we have basically had like this really cool glow. It really works with this whole style. And another optional effect like that here is as flicker because as you might know, like in these looks, you know, gothic looks, there's a lot of flicker usually. I like to make it to 0 0.6, like really high, so it will flicker a lot. Like you know, it will change the intensity a lot around. And now, once you have made this, a really big recommendation I would give to you is just take out your phone and just film it. Like film your computer, but like just film it usually more in the dark, not like when there's light, and you will get like a crazy look. I can actually show you. I filmed mine with a phone. And yeah, here it is filmed on phone and let's just add it on top. And this is how it would look like. So once you film it with phone, like you would probably need to a bit, maybe scale it up a bit more and position it a bit differently. And it could look like this. So yeah, you just literally, all you do is just film it. So yeah, I had it filmed like this and I will show you a bit later on why I would like to film it like this. But yeah, let's just go out of here for a little bit. Let's go back to this. And on top of everything, I like to press control Y again. And here I like to call this just signal because we're going to be adding, guess what? The signal plugin. Yeah, let's add a signal here again. And here I like to make the signal strength to one. So like we start to see a lot of colors and I like to make the signal amplification to zero. I just don't like to have it here, you know, signal amplification. And now let's go down to luminal modulation and turn off the turn on and off and also tapers. So you already get this crazy damage look like before and after, They're really cool. But I also like to add CC lens to make this a little bit of a warp. I like to make the size to 234. But the convergence, although you can keep it like that, but I like to make the convergence to minus 200. So we'll start to look like that. And I also like to add transform to scale it back up a bit. And I like to make the transform here to 117. And the last effect I like to add here is as hotspots. And I like to make the threshold to 0.3. That just looks absolutely crazy. Just look at that. That is insane. And now what I want to show you is if we go back to the phone, what we filmed on the phone, it will look like this. Okay, we might need to scale it up a bit more as you can see from the sides so if you don't want to see the sides like that you can go on top of signal press ctrl y and add motion tile and here we can make the output to it to like i guess 80 and you will start to have this absolutely crazy gothic tile car just mind-blowingly good that's insane now i i know that looks crazy but there are ways to make this even cooler like on tile on these type of tile cards i also see a lot of like glitches so here you could add like glitches from my other tutorials but i, I guess those glitches take a long time to make and they don't really work that well a lot of the time so i am actually working on something really cool but i haven't released this yet or anything this has been like my biggest passion Ever, these effects it's actually glitch effects as you might see here as i'm showing yeah so these are glitch presets i am making right now i've been making them for over a month a bit yeah this has been like my little summer project and what this will basically do is you will be able to go to effects and presets and literally just type like a glitch for example glitch i guess uh one maybe and just let's add it below signal i'll press ctrl alt y and here you could add like anything like for example mm, i don't know maybe glitch 14 let's add it on this adjustment layer and it will start to glitch out like this, which will look absolutely crazy. And yeah, just look how crazy that glitch looks. And yeah, you can add so many more, but sadly I haven't released this and I'm probably going to release this back in like a month. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. You know, if you enjoyed the video or learned something, then please let me know. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.